What's up, it's Phil from Phil Will Exposed, and I have a very special announcement to make. The first episode of Bulking on a Budget is finally here. This is a series I've been talking about for a couple of months now, and it's been highly requested, highly anticipated, and I'm finally giving you guys the first episode today. So in the, today's episode, I'm going to be giving you guys the number one meal that helped me get to 200 pounds plus, and the whole concept behind the whole Bulking on a Budget series is basically for people who are on a budget and who are also short on time. So... After watching this series, I'm going to break it down and make it stupid simple for you guys. You're just going to enjoy it a lot. Okay, so today's meal of choice, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook pasta. I'm going to show you guys my special sauce along with cooking it with a multitude of different vegetables. So the pasta is obviously good for carbs, which is good for energy, for training. The meat is good for protein, which is good for obvious bodybuilding purposes. And we have a multitude of different vegetables, which is good for quality nutrients that your body needs. And on top of that, we have a multitude of different spices, cheese, and I actually bought some cheese sauce as well. Yeah, so as far as the prices are concerned, for these four vegetables right here, it costs about under $10. For the, this amount of pasta, it costs $1.50. This meat actually costs $5, but I got it for 30% off, so it came up to around $3.50. The spices were cheap as well. And we bought a brick of cheese, which was $6, and this is about one-tenth of that. So as you can see, I didn't break, break the bank with this meal here. Okay, so as you can see, we got all the food right here. It took about 12 to 15 minutes to put it all in such an organized fashion, but a lot of you guys aren't making videos, so it might only take you guys six to eight minutes. So I know some of you guys are probably curious about the prices of food, and I'm going to elaborate on that. So if you look at the pasta, I spent around $1.50 for this whole bowl. Now if you look at the cheese, it costs about $6 for a brick of marble cheese, and this is about one-tenth of it. As far as the beef is concerned, it costs $5, but I got it for 30% off, which is with the discounts that I keep talking about on Bulky on a Budget, so it came up to around $3.50. Now you can see the vegetables, cost around 10 bucks for pretty much handfuls of all this together. And then as far as the spices are concerned, maybe $5 each spice. Then you got an additional sauce, this is very optional. This costs around $2. Okay guys, so we just talked about the food, we talked about the prices, now it's time to get to the fun part of the video. I'm gonna show you how to actually cook the food. So as you can see, we got a big pot, put a lot of water in it, and now it's starting to boil. We had a big pan, put some oil in it, and now it's ready to cook. So all you're gonna need to do is take some onions, put them in. This is to start off our pasta sauce. Now, as far as our pasta is concerned, let's throw it all in. Now we got the pasta. Okay, so as you can see, up to date, pasta's been in for a few minutes now. The golden onions are in too, along with the meat. Everything's starting to look very good. So now we're gonna incorporate our vegetables, we got our pepper, our spinach, and our mushrooms. You're just gonna bit it all up in. You know, just sprinkle it around everywhere. So that sounds to be too complicated. Grab a handful of them. Okay, now use our spatula. I also use my spatula to bit up the meat a bit more, get into smaller pieces. And that's that. Okay, so for those of you who are curious as to which kind of spices I'm using, I got some garlic powder, lemon and pepper, along with some basil leaves, and just some classic black pepper for good measure. So, like I said in the, earlier in the video, you can use whatever kind of spices you want. This is what I like to use for my sauce. So. Doesn't have to be too crazy, you can just incorporate a little bit. Now, use your spatula and just play around with it. And I like to play around with the pasta maybe every two to three minutes. Just to keep it active and make sure that all the pasta is being cooked at once. Okay, so fast forward a few more minutes into the video. 
We got the pasta, it's officially done. All I did was put in this to get all the water out. And then I put it back in the bowl, so now the pasta is pretty much set. Then I took some broccoli, but beforehand I put some oil in a pan, bit up some broccoli that I showed you earlier, and now the broccoli is pretty much eight minutes into being done. And as you can see, it's looking very green right now, so I'm gonna take it out very soon. As far as the sauce is concerned, sauce is looking good as well. It's been around maybe 15 minutes, and it's ready to take out very soon as well, so I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so now the sauce is around 18 minutes into being cooked, and the broccoli is pretty much ready. This is at around 11 minutes. And by the way, I like to overcook my sauce just a little bit, but you could do whatever you want. So now it's time to just basically take the broccoli. And we're gonna incorporate this into our pasta sauce. We got a nice healthy sauce, a lot of nutrients. A lot went into the sauce. Okay, so there you have it guys. That's the Fit World Exposed Bulky on a Budget Episode 1 First Meal. So I showed you guys how to make pasta, my special pasta sauce, along with a multitude of different vegetables. And we put it all in one. I showed you step by step how to make it, and this is the final result. So I haven't eaten for a couple hours now, and now it's time to devour this meal. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this video. Let me know if you learned anything. And if you try it out this meal, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you recommend it? And also if you recommend any bulky on a budget additional uh, meals that I should make in the future, let me know and I'll definitely deliver. So see you guys next time.